Behaviors Studio is on integrated development environments, IDEs, looking at some of their tools. So generally an IDE is just an application that provides a selection of tools for programmers, allowing you to code using additional tools all in one place within one program essentially. So you can program using just a basic text editor if you wanted to, you may have some experience in doing that, but that's not ideal for most purposes. IDEs are much preferable for most people because they have these additional tools, some of which we're going to be looking at. So first of all, just a very basic is the text editor, but an ID you have a more developed text editor, so it may have something like intelligent code completion where it will also complete some of your statements for you to save time. It may close off curly braces if you've missed one, for example, and also visual ones which you may not have come across. So a textual one is just slightly more developed for notepad use, it's got syntax highlighting um, and uh, this is indicating a little syntax error because you're missing off a semicolon so very helpful things just to make your life a bit easier when you're actually writing source code. A visual editor if you haven't done sort of window based programming where you're dealing with an actual sort of interface that's not just a text interface you may not have come across these but this is Android Studio for writing Android apps and you can see it's got a nice interface where you can kind of drag and drop components in instead of having to write them yourself in code which can be a little bit tedious. It's worth saying there are many IDs, some more developed than others so idle for Python is a quite a basic ID, whereas something like Eclipse or Anna Studio is more developed and you can get ones you have to pay for. So just bear in mind that the actual programming language is completely separate to the IDE. Most IDEs work with several programming languages, so the code is completely separate to the actual interface, if you know what I mean. Just a few more tools then to wrap up. Uh, you've got error diagnostic tools um, like the syntax highlighting we just looked at where they highlight things in red, maybe tell you the line you've had an error on. Also they'll have different modes for execution, so debug mode will often have many other features to do with error handling, like a quite a cool feature in Visual Studio and maybe other IDs too where you can actually inspect the memory and see where your pointers are pointing to in memory and so on. Um, and other things like breakpoints where you can execute the code up until a point and then execute it step by step. and Debug mode will often have other exception handling, so if you've got a error in your code, the ID will catch it, it's not going to cause a fatal error. So this, so if you don't know what exception handling is, it's links very much to the runtime environment, to the fact that it provides a place where you can execute your code safely, i.e. it's not letting your code loose on your computer, it's having a protected environment for your code to run in. So if your program crashes, if, you've, if your program's got a fatal error, it's got an exception, the ID won't crash, the ID you can deal with it in a safe environment without affecting other parts of your computer essentially. And finally translators which we looked at in a previous video, they'll translate your code for you um, and different IDs use different translators so interpreters, compilers, maybe a bit of both as we talked about. When you actually want to release an application there's lots of things you need to do, you may have tons of source files, you may have header files, you may have libraries, you have to link them all together, you may have to have documentation telling people what each parameters are, what the return types are, da 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 da. An ID can do all this for you, so it's a lot easier in that regard. So that's it, make sure you know that an ID is just a class of programs. The one you're using isn't unique to your language if you're using idle for Python. It's not it's not inherent to Python. Python is a separate entity than the IDE, and some IDEs are better than others, some have more tools than others. You may not have come across some of these tools, but be aware that other IDEs do have them.